What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and welcome back for another episode of Free From Fab, where I review the free for a short time assets off of Fab. Every two weeks, Fab offers three different asset packs free of charge, and whether you're a budding indie game developer or a 3D artist, or just someone who wants to add to their library of assets, these are most definitely worth checking out. In this video, I'll give you a brief rundown of what's included in this Fortnite's free asset packs, as well as share a few of my own thoughts on their utility and their quality. But just before we get started, guys, if you like what we do here at Pitchfork Academy, the number one way to support the channel is by picking up our new game, Skyblocker, which is available now on Steam for just 10 bucks. It's a fun 3D arcade style puzzle game where you stack blocks as high as you can while battling the elements and gravity to try and earn your place on the global online leaderboards. But without further ado, let's take a look at these assets. Alrighty guys, now as you can see here, these asset packs are freely available until July 1 at 9.59 Eastern Time. And this fortnight, we've got the stylized Village Fat Pack by Meshin Gun Studio, Advanced Portals System VFX by Serlo, and Train Pack by Studio.lao or Studio.lao. So let's jump in and take a look at the stylized Village Fat Pack. The stylized Village Fat Pack is by Mesh and Gun Studio, and it says here in the description that the environment is inspired by fantasy and stylized themes, and the pack includes 450 unique high-quality static meshes, around 300 textures, and more than 100 material instances. All static meshes include LODs up to 8 level and imposter LODs, are also created for larger foliage to ensure optimal performance. The variety of modular assets in this pack give you the possibility to make your own fantasy game world. And while there's not a great deal going on here, I do like this asset pack, and I think that with Unreal Engine 5 games all looking a bit same same, it is definitely a good idea to think about your art direction and maybe go a more stylized route. The example level kind of has four main set pieces. So there's three of these little sort of houses, one with a water wheel, this one that is built over the top of the waterfall, and another small house in the back here, as well as this windmill, which is kind of a background set piece. I do like the sort of textures and colors that they've chosen here, as well as some of these stylized elements, such as these wisps of wind up here, and the stylized clouds, which are just cards, but at a distance they look pretty cool. And I also really like this kind of wispy trail of smoke leading from the chimney on this house. It's a nice touch. I did encounter some problems with the shadows on the trees, and it does say here to enable distance field meshes in the project settings. I tried that, and it helped a little bit, and I also tried disabling hardware ray tracing, because we had a similar issue in, in Skyblocker in our forest level, which contains quite a few trees and uh, it was sort of hardware ray tracing not working so well with nanite and that fixed it for us but here i had no such luck but it's not a big deal if you wanted uh, this kind of stylized environment or to use some of these assets in your project i do think this is a nice little pack it comes with three example levels so this one is summer and you've got one set in the fall which has a kind of warmer color scheme, quite nice, and also one in the winter time where the water and the waterfall is all frozen and has some nice reflections on it, as well as a bit of snow and ice on the landscape. So yeah, if this is something you could use in your projects, you should absolutely grab it while it's free off of Fab this fortnight. Next up, guys, we've got the Advanced Portals System VFX by Serlo, and it says here in the description, Advanced Portal System VFX is a high-quality visual effects pack created using the Niagara system in Unreal Engine 5, 
This pack is perfect for projects in fantasy, sci-fi, and horror genres, adding dynamic and atmospheric portals with unique effects. And as you can see here in the demo level, there are 10 examples of different portals, and these various examples of portals have different particle effects on display here, with sort of particles being pulled into the portals and swirling around the portals with these different styles of, you know, like fire and embers. And some of these have got these nice little, I guess they're cube maps to sort of give the effect of a world on the other side of the portal. And these Niagara systems look very nice indeed. And there's not really much else to say about this pack. These portals do look very, very nice. And even if you don't need these kind of assets in the project you're working on right now, just grab them. They're free. Grab them. You never know when you might want to use these. And lastly, guys, we have the Train Pack by Studio.Lau. It says here it comes with train and wagons, skeleton mesh, animated wheelbase, blueprint railway, and different colors of wagons. And once again, guys, there's not too much I can say about this one. It does seem to be of very high quality. Everything looks great from the locomotive, the train tracks, the signs, the empty carriages. There's a few different colors of tankers here, some container carriages, and some shipping containers. And it all looks great. If you need trains in your game, grab this asset pack while it's free from fab. And that's about it from me, guys. If this video has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.